1170 WOCA. Ocala. Three minutes after 11 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. Robin, you know that I'm on Facebook probably more than I should be, right? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but people what? love seeing your posts. <laughs> well, one of the things that I have not partaken in or, or participated in is the Throwback Thursday. Do your friends on Facebook do the Throwback Thursday thing? No, I've not heard of it. No? No, Maybe I don't Maybe I just know have a group of, I don't know if this is across the board. It, what, it, what it means is on Thursdays, for some reason, they post an old photograph of themselves. Okay. So I found an old photograph of myself I was thinking about using. I'm pretty skinny in it. I look pretty good. <laughs> I look really good, you know? Yeah. What is the point of that, though? If you, if you think about it, look how I used to look. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Lisa Lynn is on the phone. She looks really good. She's got a new book out. Uh, she's been with us before. I always enjoy speaking to her. Her new book is called The Metabolism Solution, The New Way to Lose Weight. The go, uh, Lisa Lynn is the uh, go-to nutrition and fitness expert for the Dr. Oz show, mm-hmm. and she's a personal trainer, a met- metabolic weight loss and performance nutrition expert, and I got to write to Dr. Oz and say, you know, every single time we have a guest on our show who's on your show, we mention your show. Yes, So could do. you return the favor, please? Mention our mm-hmm. show. Next time Lisa's on your show, say she's regularly on <laughs> with Larry and Robin on AM <laughs> and Good morning, Lisa. How you doing? I'm great. How are you? Thanks for having me. Oh, you're welcome. You're always so great to talk to. He, w- he wouldn't do that, would he? No, and you know what, though? I was thinking he should because you guys dig deeper, which is more informative. I don't like the little, you know, shallow, not really informing everybody of everything they need to know. Oh, okay. Well, that's a, na- oh, that's a feather in our cap. So, but he's in good shape, isn't he? He looks like he is. He's too skinny, in my opinion. I thought the same thing. Yeah, yeah we're on the same page. Too skinny. He looks like if the wind blows, he's going to take him with him, and that's not very healthy. Like he's stressed, you know what I mean? <laughs> that's right, that's right. We'll tell him. We'll, we'll send, I'll send him a note when I say, next time you have Lisa on, make sure you mention us. That's right. So uh, the by book, the first of all, the book looks wonderful. How long has, has the book been out, The Metabolism Solution? Less than a month. Oh, really? So it's brand new. But did, if you look through it, it's really comprehensive. I mean, the recipes alone, in my opinion, are worth having because, no, what, in my opinion, everybody tells you what to eat and what not to eat, but right. nobody ever tells you, here's a recipe you can eat that causes weight loss, and it's delicious. That's what I want. Okay, I want to focus on what you just said right mm-hmm. there because this is what some people will claim, and I want to know the truth, and you're our go-to person for the truth about this stuff. Mm-hmm. And, and, and tell me it doesn't have to grow in the mountains of Tibet and, and you can only get it in a, in a truckload. I mean, in a, in, a pill, in a pill that's the equivalent of a truckload. That's right. This is why I love you because you're honest and it's the truth. And if you looked at my recipes, number one, none of them look like, ew, diet food. Because what I notice is that everybody knows that spot cuisine, but nobody ever wants to make it where when you give them a really good recipe, like I took my family's recipes and made them over, but I had to leave a lot out for the reason you said. If people have to have 55 ingredients, take more than 30 minutes, go to seven stores, forget about it. <laughs> yeah. Forget about it. So, so, okay, so here's the question, the big question. Could a 100-calorie food item, let's just, I know that's a low, let's say a 500-calorie food item, um, compared to another 500-calorie food item, could one of them actually, although they have the same amount of calories, actually increase your metabolism and therefore Absolutely. almost counteract the, the, the calorie count? That's exactly what thermogenic eating is, and I get calls and emails all day about my metabolism is dead, I'm in menopause, I had 20 kids, I have thyroid 20. issues, and I specialize, you'd be surprised how many kids <laughs> these women have, how messed yeah. up their metabolism They must be doing are. something right, though, they got pregnant 20 yeah. times. <laughs> well, hey, they stay at home all day, I guess that's the hook, I don't know. But thermogenic means exactly what you said, that there are certain foods, for instance, lean proteins, like flaky white fish, egg whites, whey, that actually take your body more energy to digest them so you burn calories that are actually in the food, so you end up with a deficit. So is that the secret? If it takes more calories to burn it, then that, yep. that's, that's considered uh, increasing your metabolism? That's the secret, especially if you're above 40 and you have a slow metabolism, and even more so if you live in the real world, because, you know, to me, we eat healthy and go to the gym to allow, it's like going to work. 
you go to work to save money for if you're a car aficionado for that or whatever it is you love to do. Not to be perfect all the time, but to be able to get away with some splurging and not gain weight but actually lose because you ate in a thermogenic manner all week long. And and people like to have that, you know, in, in, in the evening, you know, I do. I, I like to pick up, you know, a couple pieces of Hershey Kisses or something just because yeah. I have a good. craving for that. That's right. It's so I'm good. And it's, you know, I'd rather do that than fruit. And you're giving us an alternative from the fruit to pick up something yeah. that will satisfy whatever it is that your body's craving at the time. Because that's reality. You know, everybody's been on a diet, off a diet. Well, ever since I learned these techniques that I learned when I was, you know how they used to see these before and afters all the time on yes. TV? What people don't know is that there's centers, there's trainers who are paid to get those people ready, buff them up six weeks, throw them around the gym, here's what to eat, and boom, you have an after, and, 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 the, and they're being marketed. Mine are all real, I must say, but what I learned doing that is there's specific techniques and that that's real world, what you're describing. You'll get a, a day, maybe two out of people. They always go back to what they love, and of course, we can't do all of it, but how would you like to live if you couldn't have that Hershey kiss every day? Oh, exactly, exactly, because you, you just want, you know, you, you want that craving, you have it, and then you're, you're done for the rest of the night. If you substitute anything else that the health gurus say, you really don't have your craving satisfied. This is the other thing that I learned working for all these diet places is sometimes they were so meticulously calorically laid out that if you tripped and fell into a, a two-calorie Tic Tac, you were over your points for calories and you didn't lose an ounce. And what I know is people want fast results, safe that they can keep doing because that's what keeps them sticking to a diet is when they can see results. So you know one of my big tricks is a, a metabolic boosting whey protein shake in the morning because that boosts up your metabolism 25%, right, right. blocks cortisol, and it allows for the real world because I'd rather be dead than not have some of the things. Like my thing is frozen yogurt every day of my life. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love frozen yogurt. Yeah, that's right, so, so, good. so the other day, Lisa, we had a guy on the air. Do you remember his name from The Biggest Loser? What was his name? Uh, uh, well, we had uh, one of the winners of The Mark, Biggest. Uh, uh, that's okay. It's okay. Panahovich. Oh wow, mm-hmm. good. Yeah, Mark we had him on. He's it. he's one of the. He lost like two hundred pounds. So I looked at his photographs online uh, without a shirt, and he re- he lost like two hundred pounds, and he really looks great now. Mm-hmm. Really yeah. had a huge belly before, and mm-hmm. one of the listeners called in and asked him about the surgery to actually tighten up the loose skin that inevitably would have been left. Mm-hmm. And while he said he did have a little bit of that, he said this is what he said that the biggest amount of that excess skin uh, disappeared because he's been doing um, resistance and weight training yeah, yep. a- as opposed to simply dieting. And, Correct. And dieting would have caused, caused it to flop down like, like, a, like a saggy balloon. Yep. Mm-hmm. You agree? You nailed it. And, and not only that, but when you combine a lean thermogenic diet with fat, what happens is you're feeding the muscle and you're starving the fat so it leaves. And a lot of this excess skin that people think they have, he certainly did, is still excess body fat. So when you combine the two, you really can get yourself buffed. And I call that skinny fat when people just lose weight through diet and they don't exercise. They actually have all this hanging stuff and a tiny little bit of weight training could change everything for them. So weight training is, is, is important to you. And obviously looking Fair through enough. the book, you, you, do it, yep. you do it a lot, right? Yeah. But, you're, you have, you but you have small weights. Does that make a difference as opposed yeah, you know, to the... It doesn't really matter. A lot of people don't realize that muscles have what you call the all-or-nothing contract principle. They either work or they don't. And while it's good to challenge yourself hmm. and always try to lift heavy, what people don't realize is you're going to get a workout with, you know, with, with a lightweight if you have good form. And as long as your diet's intact, you're going to get the results that you wanted because 90% is diet. What about the resistance training people talk about? They don't have any weights at all. They push against the wall or they they pull against the tree limb or something like that? It works, by the way, like wall push-ups. So I'm a big fan of keeping people out of gyms, believe it or not, because they just can't seem to get there. And you could do a wall push-up. You could do a regular push-up. You know, people have these bars hanging in their doorways that you could do a little hanging hold chin or there's a lot of things you could do with your body weight or isometrically that could make a very big difference in your body and sometimes people don't realize that they are really exercising sometimes people have jobs where they are walking constantly and that really is exercise in itself 
And you'd be surprised. Sometimes guys come to me and they want to add bulk, and I actually have to slow them down in the gym because of what you said. And, and it's very interesting. This gym business has become such a huge money-making business that, you know, they've got people scared right out of going. You know, if you don't do this uh, military moms and all these crazy hardcore kill your back right. workouts, <laughs> don't bother. And I, I'll be honest, I hate them because they take people totally off the road of staying fit for their whole life, which is the goal. The last time you spoke to us, Lisa, we were broadcasting from a studio in a different office complex. Now we broadcast from a mall. It's called the Paddock mm-hmm. Mall. And in this right. mall, I know there's at least one place that sells something you mm-hmm. talked about once before is the white bean extract, I think it was called. Yeah, absolutely. So, the phase two white kidney bean, which I hope you guys have on your shelf already. No, now. I don't. But but see, now oh, we, we but, but now we broadcast from the mall. <laughs> 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 but, but the reason I bring it up is and because the very fact that I remember it. Yeah. Is, let me explain why I remember it. Because I remember after you got off the air, it might have been two times ago. But our phones rang and rang asking us, what was the stuff she said? What did she say? And thank goodness yeah. we had it recorded. Yeah. yeah. And, and so, I have to say, I, I don't miss an opportunity to talk about phase two. And if you notice, I mentioned it in my book a lot. And I didn't get paid to put that in my book. So I feel so strongly about this supplement because there are so many, especially if you watch Dr. Oz, 99% of them people should not waste their money on. But there's that 1% that could make a gigantic dent. And what I know is, especially where I live in Fairfield County, this is the Gold Coast. We call it the Gold Coast Gout Crowd. They like to eat. And I know that I'm not going to be able to stop them from all their little events. So I have this little bottle of Phase 2 white kidney bean extract. Fits right into the lady's Prada bags. And I just say, listen, right before you go eat, 30 minutes, take it, and it, di- it blocks the enzyme that will digest starch, which, of course, we know we should all eat less, but this is the real world, right, so imagine right. being able to take that and getting through. I mean, I don't leave home without it now. I think, so. I think bread is a weakness for me. Not, not all bread, but I, like, I love Kaiser rolls. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so good. Oh. <laughs> and every now and then a bigger. Let me let me for the listener's sake say something because I don't want anybody to think this is an infomercial for the product she just talked about. It is not. Lisa has a book. No. Yeah, the book yeah, is the book, book. If we're selling anything, it's the book. I want people to yeah. know that the book has. But really, you did mention this as a product, and I want to make sure our listeners know because I cringe when I when I think it sounds like an infomercial. But I know. but because we know you. I already yeah. know this in advance, but the listeners may not know that. And, and yeah. they also don't know the other part of this. So in a nutshell, explain what this stuff does and, and, and maybe even explain how it works if, if we can grasp that. I don't know. Oh, it's actually fairly easy. It just literally paralyzes the enzyme that is responsible for digesting the starch so the carbs can't be broken down into sugars. And one of the reasons why I mentioned it in my book and I talk about it is I'm a metabolic you know, resistance expert, meaning I get the hardest people who can't lose weight. They're on every diet on the planet. They're 17 hours in the gym or none, and they just can't lose weight. Well, one of the tricks is to lower blood sugar. And with people who have been overweight for a long time that's really hard and they're not going to be perfect and so you need sometimes some tools when diet and exercise just aren't enough to help push them over that finish line and there's lots of pre-diabetes cases and so by by stopping this starch digestion and balancing the blood sugar you know levels after a meal like that that's paramount when it comes to losing that belly fat like you mentioned on that guy where people lose weight, but they still just don't lose belly fat. Right. That is a, I could write a book on belly fat alone. So, so when we hear about starch blockers, are they all made out of the white kidney extract? I mean, you're, no. And, no. you know, it's sad because um, while I love Dr. Oz, one of the things that I hate is every time that he talks about a supplement, 50,000 people go out and make them. So you've got all these imposters out there. And quality is yeah. so huge when it comes to supplements. My philosophy is buy right or don't buy at all. Because if, you don't, if you're not seeing results from your supplement within two weeks, you know the quality is off. Now, uh, how how about uh, what what happens then to the starches when you take this white kidney bean extract? Where, wh- how do they get dis- dispelled through the body? They get evacuated. But one of the things that I like about this high quality phase two white kidney bean is that there's no gastric upset from it. Where some of these imposters, one, they don't put enough of the phase two white kidney bean extract in the product, so you don't it does it can't do its job. It's like 
you got to have a certain amount of gas. You have to have at least a gallon of gas to go, you know, 18 miles. You, you can't put less and have that work. Phase two is the same, but it puts the right amount of, of the product in there so that it does its job, gets evacuated, doesn't upset your stomach. There's no special effects coming out the other end. Yeah, you know. that's good. <laughs> because a lot of them really messed you up. So people will take one and then they never take it again. We know that doesn't work. Mm-hmm. Who's the guy you're but hugging he, in this picture? Is, is, is this guy's got pointed ears or is that just an illusion? Oh, that is, it does look like that in the photo, but that is Fred Hatfield, a.k.a. Dr. Squat. If you Googled him, you would see he is <laughs> one of the world's strongest men. And what you can't see in that photo is I picked him up off the ground, literally. Wow. And he really is a brilliant, he, he runs international sports sciences, which studies global trends when it comes to weight loss and exercise. And I mentored with him. He's the guy that changed my career. Everyone thinks it's Dr. Oz and Martha Stewart, but he taught me everything I know. And he's a scientist. He's a doctor. So I dig deep like him. I don't just, you know, grasp every wind that goes by. So you'll see a lot of meat in this book. You know, after I did Dr. Oz, everybody, every day, get hundreds of emails about, what about the raspberry ketones? And I, that was what prompted me to really get the whole story out, not just take this. But you have to eat. So you're not. You so you, you, so you, your your approach is not vegetarian or, or vegan, right? No, no. Uh-uh. Yeah. In fact, I got overweight following vegan diets. Really? Because they're too high in carbohydrates, and lots of people think, well, it's vegan. I can eat whatever I want, <laughs> unlimited. Wrong. <laughs> oh wow! And you know, I just just we share something in, in that we both believe in God. I, I, I'm yeah. not a biblical scholar, scholar in any way, but there's something I wanted to bring into this conversation that is based on that and, and yeah. it, it is this i went through a period when i was much younger mm-hmm. where i was starting to believe the people who said you shouldn't eat meat and and um and i didn't for for a little while but then i thought it was something jesus said and and jesus and i love this one thing jesus said and i'm not trying to make this a religious conversation but it literally made me realize oh it's okay to eat meat <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he, he said and he made chocolate by the way <laughs> jesus did Yes. He didn't make spaghetti, but chocolate comes from a tree, by the way. So he made that stuff. You have to. Oh, oh, he made it. I see what you're saying. He made it. Yeah, that's right. He did. (laughs) All right. Okay. All right. Well, with that, somebody said to him, what should we eat? What should we eat? And what shouldn't we eat? And and again, I'm paraphrasing because I'm not a scholar at this stuff. But he said something to the effect of, don't worry about what you put into your mouth. Worry about what comes out of your mouth. Yep. In other words, what you say. In, in other words, he didn't really care if if we had a, a hamburger or a you know French fry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm sure he yeah. didn't want us to be gluttons, but at the same. But anyway, I just thought I'd throw that in there. Well, you know that's big because if you read, I have a chapter in there called God and Your Bod, and the reason I put it in there was I got really buffed for a while. I mean, I was ripped to shreds. Nothing jiggled. Nothing j- moved when I sat. People stopped me on the street, but inside they stopped I was you on the like, street. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, she I was great, probably. Yeah, oh. I was really every muscle was in its place, and I, ne- I, I don't eat that clean now, but mm. I was not happy inside. And I posed for this photo shoot, and I remember looking in the mirror, thinking, everything that bothered me still bothers me. Uh oh, now what? And I had to dig deep and go inside because you know how they always joke, it's not what you're eating, it's what's eating you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're not honoring your body with good food and proper exercise, not too much or too little. You're, you're never going to be happy inside that. That's a problem like this over-exercise. I'm going to call it exercise bulimia. is a new problem in and of itself in right. society. Mm-hmm. And so people really have to make sure as humans they're balanced all around. Or you could be buffed, you could be pretty, you could be rich, but you're not going to be happy inside. And that, that self-relationship that. is what you talk about in your book also. Yep, yep. And it's gigantic. And I know if anybody's out there overweight, I've been there, you hate yourself. You don't want to look at yourself. You know, you're, you're just totally disconnected. And it does start with loving yourself right where you are, even on those bad days. And, like, like make believe you've had a little girl. How would you treat her if she did something wrong? You'd pick her up by the hand, forgive her, and have that little thought process with yourself. Because that's what's going to get you out of that compulsive overeating hole. You know? Yeah, yeah. The book is called The Metabolism Solution, The New way to lose weight it's written by our guest lisa lynn Le- i love you lisa and, and take that the right way i guess but but i, mean, <laughs> I, I just, but, but I, I, just I, I just i mean i love talking to you i love what you say i love the things that surround the things you say 
Um, but I want, I want to ask you, this is more of a, a chemical question, I guess. We've had guests talking about CoQ10. And the reason mm-hmm. I bring that up is because it's never, mm-hmm. in, in my, all my recollection of doing these interviews, I don't ever remember anybody mentioning it in conjunction with losing weight. It's always been about heart heart disease yeah but, yeah but you what, do you mention it in my book yeah yeah you, <laughs> yeah you mentioned it in the book so explain you know that what i realized well when you if you sat and went to nutrition school and, and made a list of every single nutrient you need you'd have like seven thousand bottles out in front of you how would you afford to take it have time it's just not feasible and in the beginning of my career i i went to fred hatfield and all the scientists and said like when i was helping martha stewart she would get these nine million bottles why can't we combine these to put them together? And they said something very interesting. We can. And the reason why a lot of supplement companies don't add CoQ10, vitamin A, B, C, you name it, right down the line, is they make more money selling you separate bottles. I bet. sometimes they are. But I decided to make it easy for Martha and blend those. Like I have a supplement called the Daily Power Shot. CoQ10 in every selenium, you name it, it's in there, is blended in one supplement, saving you money, do one thing every day, because it is about being consistent, and so, it rocks for weight loss. So it, it is a good thing for your heart, but does it contribute oh, yeah. to the weight loss, or no? Yep, definitely, because anytime, if believe it or not, your body doesn't even make minerals, and so if we're missing one, just think about your car having one wire popped off, say the spark club plug, yet everything else is intact, the engine can't run. Our bodies are exactly the same, and it pains me to hear people taking, like, just, sometimes solo nutrients are good, but 90% of the time, blended supplements work better, because you've got, like, 10 things working in your body's favor instead of just one. So when, when you said you, if, if you went out and you got all 7,000 of the nutrients that we need, yeah. and then you asked the question, couldn't we just put them together, mm-hmm. I thought you were going to say... Somebody already has. His name is God, and that substance is called food. <laughs> right, that's right. By the way, <laughs> that's food. And that, you're a hundred percent right. And one of the reasons why, and food is always your best medicine, and should be your primary thing to change. And, and by the way, you should really enjoy. Like, if you thumb through my recipes, I took my grandfather's famous turkey meatballs and made them over. Made him crazy, by the way. He's probably rolling in his grave, but he has the best meatballs on the planet. And when I got lean, I couldn't go back to eating the meat. So I took the turkey meatballs, made them over, added a secret ingredient. Ah. And every recipe in there is, you know, my father's chicken scarpiello, you know, done lean. Good stuff. Yummy food that especially men like to eat. <laughs> and, you can, and you can modify. I mean, there is no yep. crime in taking one thing and modifying it to fit the moment. That's right. Well, you know, I basically removed carbs because it, it's not that we should eat none, but we have no problem finding our way there. So I removed carbs. They're practically all dairy-free. There's no gluten in any of them. It's, it's like the hierarchy. It doesn't get healthier. But instead of, tor- you know, p- putting this spa cuisine flavors, I put stuff that I noticed when women would read cookbooks in stores. They'd be like, look at this. You know, they want the good Goomba Johnny recipes. Oh, yeah. Goomba Johnny. <laughs> Again, you know, they're I, filling. You know, here in Ocala, we have a tourist attraction that has recently become a state park called Silver Springs. Now, there was a historical event that happened at Silver Springs. One of the Indian chiefs, Osceola, uh, I guess worked out an agreement, and I didn't, wasn't happy when I read that, that he was forced, and his people were forced to move out of here. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, there's a statue there commemorating it. And if that's an accurate statue, Osceola had very long arms. Now, I'm looking at the picture of you and Martha Stewart. Yeah. Now, you, you look like you have normal length arms. She's got Osceola arms. She's got she does she- have very long arms. <laughs> look at the picture. Tall, by the way. She's yeah, she does. Huge. She's, she's got Indian yeah. in her, doesn't she? I, that's well, what, she's like 5'11", people don't realize. Unless she's standing next to me, I look like a smurf next to everybody. But she's really a tall woman. Is she really? Yeah, I never, I never knew that. Really um, so, so when we uh, go through the book, we have to learn a little bit about you, a little bit about your history, how you didn't exactly have the best young days in, when you, in your yeah. childhood, but you, uh, you came out of it, and it sounds like your parents did okay. Am I right? Did I get that right? Oh, absolutely. 
and they gave me life. And one of the reasons I got showed vulnerable, which is my least favorite emotion, is I wanted people to know they see me now. They think I came out of this really healthy, jogging, broccoli-eating family. Anything but that. And if I can flip it around, anybody can. Where are you, Lisa? Where do you live? I am in Norwalk, Connecticut. Oh, Norwalk. Okay. okay. I uh, do I wish enjoy- I was there. <laughs> uh, I, I like the um, uh, collage of pictures you have on the front, but you have the one of nature where you have Believe written in the sand and it just goes out into the water and the sunset. And I think that in itself is uh, meditating just to think about oh, something huge. like that. Because you know what I realized? If anything, this book gives hope when people have none. And I realized that you could give people the best advice, but if they really don't believe in their hearts, and I didn't. I really didn't think it was in the cards me. I thought I just was going to be fat and stocky my whole life. But somebody believed in me when I didn't, that Fred Hatfield, when I didn't believe in myself. And he kind of dragged me along until finally those seeds of hope and the belief started to come too. And the next thing you knew, I was there. And you got to fake it till you make it if you're not believing now because it's part of it. But you didn't put in before pictures of yourself in here. No, darn it. Believe it or not, I couldn't. (laughs) I ripped them all up. My mother claims she's got a fat one. Now that the book is done, she's like, I have a fat photo of you. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> do, do, you know, do you know who John Bastow is, by the way? Yes. Yes. Heard okay. of him. Yeah. Well, he comes on every now and then. He says he's got a fat picture. So I said, well, let me see the fat picture. So I went online where he is. I said, that is not fat. You, that is not fat. Okay. That, that's like the skinny guy pushing his belly out just so we can have a before picture. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you might say that about my fat photos, but I was stocky. I was like 145 pounds, 5'2", that, that stocky. But I think the kicker here is I was doing like three or four hours of exercise a day, and I was vegan. Never touched a diet that's soda amazing. where I have and so if I wasn't exercising, imagine how heavy I would have been. Wow. I have a copy of Lisa Lynn's book, and I'd like to give it away. If you call me, you can have it. The rest of us have to go buy it. I've got about 45 seconds to get that information out, Lisa. Uh, your website is linfit.com, L-Y-N-F-I-T.com. How else do we get the book? Um, you can go to the, to the website or Amazon or Zulon Press. It's all over. Your local bookstore should have it as well. All right, Lisa, you said you wish you were here. If you're ever in the area, we'd love to have you. We'd broadcast right from the mall. You could have a little little jamboree outside or something outside the window here. Oh, I would love that. All right, expect to see me soon, and thank you so much for having me on. You're always welcome back, Lisa. Love having you on. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, we'll take a little break. We'll be right back. Right back. Fox News Radio, I'm Pat O'Neill. The government is expanding its crackdown on synthetic drug makers, wholesalers, and retailers. Federal agents today serving hundreds of search and arrest warrants in at least 25 states. The U.S. sending a team to Nigeria to help search for almost 300 kidnapped girls. Obviously, it's a heartbreaking situation, outrageous situation. President Obama telling ABC News the brazen kidnapping could be the event to help mobilize a stronger international effort against Boko Haram, the terror group claiming responsibility and vowing to sell the girls in the slave. Fox Radio's Jared Halpern. Russia accused again of meddling in Ukraine, this time by British Foreign Secretary William Haig, who's meeting with leaders there. There is an enormous propaganda effort from Moscow intended to discredit the Ukrainian government. Russian President Putin says a referendum planned this weekend on autonomy in southeast Ukraine should be postponed. Fox News. We report. You decide. Make your small business even smarter with ADT Security Services. Through June 1st, get $250 instant savings on select ADT business packages. Improve your operations with 24-7 burglary monitoring, remote climate and lighting control, secure real-time video, and more. So call Star Star ADT from your cell phone. That's Star Star 238. ADT, our business is helping your business. 36-month monitoring contract required. For applicable terms and conditions, visit ADT.com. Florida, EF0001121. Grab a Napa bucket for $2.99, and everything you fit in it is 20% off. What can you fit in the bucket? A radiator? No. 10 oil filters and 756 pine tree air fresheners? With some elbow grease, maybe. Get your Napa bucket today and save 20% off everything you pack in it. Conquer the job with Napa know-how. Some exclusions apply at participating Napa Auto Parts stores while supplies last. 
Habitat for Humanity of Marion County is a ministry dedicated to improving lives by providing affordable and decent housing. Help them help others by visiting the Habitat for Humanity Ocala Restore at 926 Northwest 27th Avenue. To schedule a donation, give us a call at 401-0075 and we'll come pick it up. For more information, visit ocalarestore.org. Habitat for Humanity of Marion County. Building homes, building hope, building community. Look who just walked in the room, Joe Wiesner from What's Up Ocala. Hey, Joe, I'm looking for something to do this weekend. You got any ideas? Absolutely. Check out our event calendar online at www.whatsupocala.com, and there is plenty of events there for you. Daily news updates to event reviews and magazine articles. Really? We've organized it all in one place online for you to cut through all of the hassle of finding something to do this weekend. We have a daily event calendar, a bi-monthly magazine, and we also do daily news articles. All right, Joe, that's perfect. Thanks so much. Yeah. Whatsupocala.com. Here are today's headlines from the source WOCA. A former Secret Service agent facing counterfeit currency charges has entered a guilty plea in a deal that would give him a maximum prison sentence of one year rather than the original 35-year sentence he was facing. If the plea deal is accepted, Anthony Eugene Pressig will also have to pay a fine of $100,000, a special assessment of $25, and serve a term of supervised release of not more than a year. According to the plea deal, Pressig took three counterfeit $100 notes from three separate Marion County Sheriff's Office criminal reports. The notes were sent to the U.S. Secret Service in Jacksonville on October 30th of 2011. Pressing then tried to use one of the notes to pay for fuel at a gate gas station on Racetrack Road. Upon further examination, the clerk told Pressig over the intercom that the currency was fake. Pressig went back inside and the clerk said she would be keeping the bill and calling law enforcement. Pressig told the clerk that he was going back outside and paid for fuel with his credit card. He then left the station. The Ocala Police Department is reporting that roads will be blocked tomorrow for two funeral escorts for the Florida Highway Patrol trooper killed on Saturday in the line of duty while responding to an accident on I-75. The funeral for Chelsea Richard is slated to begin at 2 p.m. at First Baptist Church of Ocala at 2801 Southeast Maricamp Road. An escort for Richard's family is scheduled to commence around 1 p.m. in the 4900 block of State Road 40 heading west to Southeast 25th Avenue then on to Maricamp Road and north on Southeast 30th Avenue and to the entrance of the church. All side roads will be blocked during the procession. The escort for Richard's body will depart from Hires Baxley Funeral Home at 910 East Silver Springs Boulevard at around 1.15 p.m., heading east on Silver Springs Boulevard to Southeast 25th Avenue, Maricamp Road, and Southeast 30th Avenue and to the church. All intersections and side roads will be blocked. At the conclusion of the service, that escort will return to Hires Baxley Funeral Home and traffic again will be blocked. A 40-year-old Leesburg man was arrested early Monday after he was discovered naked in a Fruitland Park shed. Joshua David Williams of Leesburg was charged with criminal trespassing and remained in the Lake County Jail yesterday in lieu of $500 bail. According to an arrest affidavit, Lake County Sheriff's deputies were called to the Oak Street home around 5.30 a.m. after the homeowner reported an unknown person was in his shed. Deputies ordered Williams, who they said was completely nude, out of the shed with his hands up. It is not clear why Williams was naked, but on the affidavit, deputy said he has a history with illegal drugs. And folks at the Ringling Brothers in Sarasota set up about 250 chairs for people who wanted to witness the unveiling of a new postage stamp, but about 600 people showed up. It was an unusually high turnout for a postage stamp event. The United States Postal Service introduces about 50 or 60 new stamps every year and has unveiling ceremonies for most of them. But few of those ceremonies have a ringmaster, a musician, and clowns on stilts. For the last year, the United States Postal Service has been working with the Circus Museum in Sarasota to develop a new series of stamps that celebrate the circus. They chose eight circus posters from the museum's collection of 8,000 historic circus posters. The images on the stamps are all from the early 20th century. They depict animals, clowns, and a guy who walks downstairs on his head. The limited edition stamps are sold only in sheets or panes, as stamp enthusiasts call them. Of 16 stamps each, the selling price is $7.84 per sheet or $0.49 per stamp. And those are the headlines from the source, WOCA 96.3 FM and 1370 AM. 
Your home is safe, or is it? AA Lock, Dock, and Security. The name has been a staple in Ocala since 1985. Do you have the right equipment in place to have peace of mind when you are at home or away? AA Lock, Dock, and Security has the right people to install and monitor your home or business. Call today for a free on-site security analysis. Call 867-1965. AA Lock, Dock, and Security, 219 Northwest 10th Street, 867-1965. Hi, Danny Warfel here. You don't have to sacrifice convenience for local personal service. At Florida Credit Union, you can transfer your high credit card balances to our rewards card and actually get paid with cash back. You'll enjoy low rates and a customizable card that fits your lifestyle for free. Never tried a credit union? Maybe it's time for a new game plan. The Florida Credit Union Wave Card, connecting your money to your life. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Life jackets save lives. Wear it, Florida. Mostly sunny today and very warm at the high of 86 near the coast, 91 inland, and mainly clear tonight, though 65 inland, 72 along the coast. Mostly sunny tomorrow, the high about 86 on the coast, 92 inland. On Friday, sunshine and some clouds and quite warm with a high of 84 at the coast, 92 inland. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Ocala's in. 